Okay, so before it got dark, I just wanted to do a quick video on the leaves of some of the Himalayan red mulberries that I have. And yesterday I did a video and I was saying that I thought Tom Super Pakistan and D More 9 were the same. I have not tried the fruit or seen the fruit on D More 9. So this was just an assessment. I was just looking at the leaves. But as I took a leaf from each one, see they are different. A lot different. This one doesn't have, see this one has the cut on both sides. This one doesn't. So there are some differences. So I can't wait to try the fruit. But those leaves are different. Then I wanted to show you a Skinner. It is a long, more of a narrow, more skinny leaf. And then look at this huge, huge, huge leaf on the Himalayan red large leaf exotica. So it is larger than Tice. And I just wanted to show you the two because look how much they look alike. You cannot look at leaves on a mulberry tree and think that you know the varieties the same. And just like when I, um, you know, when I talk about world's best, Bryce's world's best, being the same as Tide Dwarf, I don't know that they're identical, I mean, just an absolute replica of one another, but they are enough alike that I would say you wouldn't need to unless you wanted to get, you know, each one and see which one grows better because I definitely like World's Best, Bryce's World's Best better for here. It grows better, but as far as fruit quality, looks just exactly the same, grows the same, and the leaf is exactly the same. But anyway, yeah, you can't go by just looking at a leaf and knowing what variety you have. But these are Himalayan red hinks. Now this one to me looks like it's gonna be like a Pakistan mulberry. It is not long and skinny so far. There's been about 10 fruits on there. I have not gotten to taste them, but they, they look like Pakistan mulberries. So we'll see on that if they have more of the strawberryish flavor next year in the spring. But that is the look of the leaves, very similar to what Australian green leaves look like. And again, that is Tice. And it is 10 inches wide and 11 inches long, this Tice leaf. And then the Himalayan red large leaf, Exotica, is 13 inches long and 11 inches wide. Amazing. Just beautiful. It's going to be a gorgeous tree. And I have two grafts. One is on world's best, and the graft is, it doesn't look the best. And the leaves are smaller and growing pretty good. But this, the one I got this tree from, I grafted onto a Jan's Best out in the field. The graft took fantastic and grew straight up probably 12 feet tall. And then we got a really strong winds and I was scared that it was going to snap the graft. So I cut about three feet off of it, but it's just doing really good. And then Skinner, I have three of them grafted onto different things. Uh, and one of, them, one of them out of the two that are planted are just doing fantastic. And it's so funny, never, you know, if you can plant two different trees in the yard in different places, the same variety, I would never give up by having a tree and it not doing good. So you think, oh, I'm not gonna get that. It doesn't do good here. It, who knows why, but I can have the same tree in two different places plant it with the same uh, kind of amendments and fertilizer and one do fantastic and the other uh, stay on the struggle bus. So 
I just encourage you to try different places and don't give up after one time if you've got a fantastic variety that you want to have. But anyway, yeah, this is D more nine right here. And this one is the Tom Super Pakistani and it is delicious. Long, skinny and delicious. I've heard the same about D more nine. Haven't tried it yet. Heard the same about Skinner. And I also have um, Himalayan Fruit and Spice Park. Can't wait to try that one next year. But anyway, wanted to share this with you. All right, have a great day. Plant lots of fruit trees. Central Florida, Zone 9B. And we get about 100 chill hours.